So welcome back to another tutorial for the Crew Unlimited. This time we're gonna use Lutris and we have a automated install script link down below in the description. So you just have to download that. But first of all, let's get the basic stuff out of the way. So first of all, if you are on Steam Deck, okay, you have to type P A double S W D, which means basically short for password, and you have to set a root password for your account. You won't be able to run the commands without it, so make sure you do that. Okay, so I'm not going to do this because I am not on Steam Deck and I already have my root password set up. So the next thing what you need to do is in the terminal you have to type this command. So this is the permanent method I'm showing you guys. You can try the temporary one. I will provide all the commands in the description as usual. So you have just have to copy paste this command from the description down below. But first make sure if you're on Steam Deck, you have to set your root, root password. It won't work otherwise. And don't ask me in the Discord server why it's not working. Why am I getting like the third underscore 37 or 505 or whatever ever, ever you guys are getting. So if you don't run this command, game won't work. Okay, it's simple as that. So I'm enabling uh, this port 443 permanently on my system because I'm playing Groot, Groot pretty much every single day. You can try the temporary method if you like, but my recommendation would be a permanent uh, method. I will provide a solution to disable this later on with the command. You can like check the description for that. So let's close this. So this is basically done. Now what you need to do next is you have to download the script for Lutris and you make sure you have Lutris installed in your system. So now we just have to click on this plus icon here and then we're going to select install from a local install script. Now you have to navigate to the script file. So mine is in games directory. It's right here. Lutris the crew unlimited dot Y A M L. So we can click on OK. Click on install. Now it's asking us to install uh, wine 1.0. Don't worry about it. Just click on install. It ha it will do like pretty much everything for you guys. So now you can change the directory if you want to. I'm not really going to do that. So let's just click continue. So now if you have the launcher, you can go there. But when I select it, it causing some issues. So let's just download it by uh, let it download by itself. So this will download the launcher and install it for you guys. And by the way, it also install like the dependencies, like the .NET runtime and stuff. And if that does not happen, I will show you how you can uh, do it. So let's just let it be done first. So this is currently creating a wine config. And it's, it, there you go. It's, it's installing .NET runtime 8.0 by itself. So you don't have to install it at all. You just have to run Lutris, run the script inside it, and it will do pretty much everything for you. So wait until this is done. And there you go. Once this is done, you will see something like this. So now don't launch it just yet because we're going to check the configuration as well. So we're going to right click and go to configure. Now you can enable stuff like mango HUD and, and stuff like that. So I don't change this. This is basically the anti-sync version of wine 10.8. This is the one we're going to use to run the game. So don't, don't bother with it. You can change it. If you like, you can change it to like G proton or something for better performance. Definitely. But then you have to, uh, you know, you have to install the .NET runtime as far as I know. And to if you want to install .NET runtime on Lutris, you can click on this wine icon here and then open wine tricks. So for the wine tricks part, when I select like a G proton, it does not work. I don't know why it does not work. I have no idea. So I would say just leave it as it is. Don't 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 do anything about it. Don't even uh, change any configuration over here. Like they set up pretty much everything for you guys. All you can do is like come here, enable Mango Herd, Game Scope if you want to. I would not recommend it though. And that's pretty much it. Anyway, launch the game. It will like launch the launcher for you. So let's just do this. So you should see the launcher like this. Now I my game is already patched. So let's just remove the patch files. You don't have to do that. I'm doing it just to show you how you can patch it. And there we go. So add a new installation. Now what you need to do next is you need to find where you install your uh, game. So if you have a game on NTFS drive like I have, so it should be in my computers and then in Z probably. How do I go back? There we go. So in case you not find it, you can also go in the slash. It should be in MNT and then games. There you go. So could be either in one of those paths. So that's you are on your own for that one. On Steam Deck, I think you'll find it easily because you already have like everything uh, in a same directory, right? So anyways, the crew, the crew.exe, you have to find this. Click on open. 
and now it's saying unpatched so that means my game is not patched yet so let's click on patch click on yes you can go manual if you want to i i don't have any manual uh, patch available on my pc so i'm not really bother bothering with it for the most part just choose yes it will download the patch from the server install it on your system and that's it so give it some time I'm also going to uh, delete my save file so that we can start a new game. So let me just delete that. And then we're going to add a new one. Also, if you want to change your name, so by default, the save file name is TCU player. If you want to change it, you can click on the syringe icon here. Click on manage, then click on the syringe icon. You can change the save name. So let's just close this. Let's launch the game and check if it's working or not. So in the in my last tutorial, uh, I have i've seen some people having issue related to like uh, yeah this uh, this is like crashing and stuff so i don't really know why it's crashing for you guys honestly because uh, i did test it on cashy this is my primary system i did uh, test it on bezite a lot of people on crew unlimited server tested on steam deck and the version like the the whole method it of with steam it's working nicely so either you guys are missing some step. I know for a fact that those who are getting like uh, underscore three five, basically you are not able to connect to the server error. So that one is I'm pretty sure you guys did not run the command to enable ports on your system. Otherwise, it will work. That's that's all I, I, I want to add to that. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys haven't uh, run that command. But anyways, with Lutris, it's actually pretty easy. You don't, don't have to bother with like the dependencies and stuff, you know. So it's launching now. Logged at 30 FPS. That's completely okay. So by the way, make sure you have this version of crew, the calling all units. This is the last update. And if you don't have the game files and you need help with that, I have a discord server link down uh, in the, in the comment section. I, I will pin it. You can join there and we can help you out with that. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, now just I'm gonna let's start a new game. It will like give me the settings option anyway. Eh, Log at thirty. Let's just make it sixty. And then so before it was causing issue. Now it does not. I hope because over here like I get some time. I get a. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's not causing issue anymore. So I was uh, getting like a connection error issue on this part here, but it's not happening anymore. So that's a good sign. So as you guys can see the crew uh, running nicely with Lutris using an automated script, it's working perfectly. By the way, I will be covering heroic games launcher as well. Uh, very soon. I'm still in the, in the phase of like how it works. With, with that because we have to do some wine DLL overwriting and stuff. But I think for the most people, uh, Lutris will work far better than uh, Steam or any other launcher to be honest because this is like the automated installation. And as you guys can see, the performance is pretty good here. So it's running at 60 FPS, average 43 and 1% low is at 20 because like when I started the game, it was, uh, it was locked at 30 FPS, so it makes sense. Uh, but anyways guys uh, that's it for this video if you enjoy this make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more linux or windows related content here i will i will be creating more tutorials if you have any personal requests regarding a game tutorial or something do let me know in the comment section down below and i'm gonna see you next time is police still behind me no <laughs> okay let me just finish this race real quick i mean it works really well though and there we go so anyways guys that's it. I'm going to see you next time. Have a good day.